Well guys, welcome back to Motorin PSUs. Today we're gonna be undervolting a Ryzen 7 5700X, but this tutorial is actually gonna work for the 5800X and for in general every Ryzen 7 from the 5000 series uh, out there. So the goal of this tutorial is to reduce your temperature mainly, reduce your power consumption and depending on how you set it, increase the performance a little bit as well as smooth the frame times very much. This is gonna dramatically improve the experience in games if you're feeling a bit of stuttering due to the turbo boosting of the CPU because it's going a, a bit uh, uh, too high in temperature. So we will see two presets, one with a completely static uh, behavior, which is what I recommend, and one with a more dynamic uh, uh, setting. So let's get straight into it and let's get tuning. Let's go into the BIOS. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. Now, me personally, I am using a B550A gaming Asus ROG Strix, so we have an Asus BIOS. But if you have a different vendor, no problem at all. First of all, on the channel, I have more undervolting tutorial with different motherboards. Even if they have different CPUs, you can at least check the settings. I have a dedicated playlist for CPU undervolting, so check that one out, okay? But anyways, let's go straight ahead. You wanna go into the AI tweaker or overclocking tuning or overclocking settings, depending on how it's called in your motherboard. And now once you're here, first of all, you wanna make sure you enable DOCP, which is basically uh, XMP, so your RAM frequency. So enable that and okay. Now at this point, for the first preset, here is what we're gonna do. So we wanna find something that's called CPU core ratio, okay? And we wanna hit 40 right there, nice. Then we wanna go all the way down until we, we find CPU voltage or CPU V-core or V-core, okay? Or core voltage, depending on how you wanna call it. And then we wanna put it into manual mode and we wanna put 1.025, okay? And this is for the manual. If you wanna just copy it, you can just copy it and then quit right now the tutorial. However, if you wanna learn how to tune this a bit better, basically, you can increase this one for more stability, okay? Because the lower the voltage is, the lower the temperature and the lower the power consumption. But the higher it is, the higher the chance your CPU will be stable. And then you can increase the core ratio to get more performance. So for example, here is an example of what you might find if you want the maximum possible performance. You might wanna put 44 on the CPU core ratio and then 1.2 on the CPU voltage override right there. And this, if you have a good CPU, it's gonna work and it's gonna give you 10% more performance than putting 40. So you understand how this works, you just raise the two and check if they work. So this is it for the uh, manual version. But in case you don't wanna reduce the core clock, we can also do a dynamic one. So with this, you get more performance in productivity and you get overall uh, better performance in games, but you might get lower average FPS. So if you wanna get the absolute maximum performance just for gaming, it's better to leave this on auto, okay? And then on uh, the CPU voltage, we don't wanna put manual, we wanna put offset, and we wanna select a negative sign and put 0 0.05. Now, if you are lucky, you can go even lower. So for example, 0 0.075, this would be even better, but 0 0.05 is gonna work for most people. So guys, you know I like to keep my tutorials short. This is how you do it, test them out. I do recommend the first settings either the 40 with 1.025 or, or the 44 with uh, uh, 1.2 volts. So try it out, let me know how it goes. And for everything, for anything you might wanna ask, I will be in the comments. Please drop a like and a sub. See you in the next one, bye.